Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to continue on the fourth and fifth duties of an agent towards the principal. According to section 166 of the Contracts Act 1950, the fourth duty of the agent towards the principal is to render proper accounts when required. This means that it is the duty of the agent to account to submit or to report for all monies and property accepted on behalf of the principal to the principal whenever the principal required him to do so. The principal's property should not be mixed up with the agent's own property. The duty of the agent is to prepare a separate and proper account for his principal. This principle of law has been decided in the case of Lyle versus Kennedy. The fifth duty is the agent must communicate with the principal whenever there is emergency situation happen. This is by virtue of Section 167 of the Contracts Act 1950. Under this provision, it is the duty of the agent, in cases of emergency or difficulty, to use all reasonable diligence to communicate with the principal and to obtain further instructions. If he failed to communicate, or purposely refuse to communicate with the principal, in that case, the agent would be liable for breach of duty and he must be responsible for any loss suffered by the principal. Precisely, whenever there is emergency, the agent must inform the principal and get further instructions on what to do next under that situation. If the agent acted or done something beyond his authority, without communicating with the principal and consequently cause some loss to the principal, the agent must be responsible and liable to pay compensation to the principal. The principal may sue the agent for breach of duty. However, by virtue of Section 142 of the Contracts Act 1950, it is an exception that if it is impossible for the agent to communicate with the principal where he cannot access to the principal, the agent may use his own discretion to decide on doing something beyond his authority. This is for the purpose of to protect and to safeguard the interest of the principal from suffering any loss during that emergency situation.